Well, today we are going to do the um, the trigonometrical graphs. So the trigonometrical graph, there are many ways to draw it. You either use a calculator or you don't use a calculator. There are some of the graphs that you can draw without using a, a, a calculator. If you know this, some of this method. So let's let me try to explain some of the simplest methods. Maybe it will help to save time when you are doing them. So in order to draw the graph without using a calculator, you have to know the nature of one of the graphs or the graph that you so the like the nature of sine graph as we is like this. If you know the sine graph, the original one without any transformation, anything, it's like this. We started from zero, it goes to nine, ten, and one eight. So here it's ninety, here it's one eighty, two seventy. Three sixty. So if you are given a graph and you know how your sine graph looks like and um, it will help you to to draw the graph without using a calculator so the value here is an amplitude it's a value on the on the uh, y axis so if they put three here then you know the natural the nature of your sine graph I mean they change you just put three here and then also here to be negative three if they if you have a graph like this I mean your amplitude is three the maximum the minimum the minimum would be negative three there and then if they put an a value here let's say it's b and then you know the nature of the graph you have to divide by b by b by a b by a b so whatever they put it here if let's say you are given something like this and then they say draw the graphs because you know the nature you just draw the graph with your pencil like this the nature of the graph make sure that and then you write your value with the value of a pencil with the pencil like this here is 270 3 60 so make sure you, you reach your interval like here they say it's 4 so that means where there is 90 you divide it by 4 and then when you divide here by 4 it will be 2 22 comma comma 5 so you just drop with a pencil and write 22 comma 5 divided here by 4 dividing 9 um 180 by 4 it will give you 45 then you crush with the pencil and you write then even here you divide by four and then you write the number here continue dividing here by four right there it's 90 and then you can do the boundaries so 380 plus 180 We add up from zero six. Yeah, you have four. Four plus one is five forty. So you can say five forty divided by four. Like that to write the answer here. 
so let's look at this a uh, question that it's given so this is how you would write it so you have to know what is the value here so and then when you know the value just write the original graph write it as it is you put your your 90 or an 80 or, uh, on this uh, remember on this point here and then, then you know that the your graph fluctuate goes up and down then you can add your value 0 90 180 like that and continue and then you know at 0 it's 0 at 90 it's 1 at 180 is 0 so here you divide it by the value given which is if you divide it by 4 it will be 22 comma you crush the 90 and then on, on 180 you write 45 crush the the we crushed 18 like that let's let's write this one and start with this see how it's drawn So we are given a, a problem like this one. They say we have to sketch it. This is some of the graph that you can draw. As you can see, it ended at 180 and then we are given 2 here. So you know the original graph is like this. And then they say interval is 0 to, to 180 and then you see there is 2 so it will be like 2 times because Oh, let me write another one here with the original graph of sine okay this is will be the y equals to sine x and then here it will be 19 here one eight two seventy. Here you'll have three sixty and three sixty plus nineteen. We'll add forty. Uh, adding forty will be four fifty adding ninety. Yeah. It's like adding it will be five foot and then adding ninety six uh, adding sixty here and uh, you'll have six thirteen and here six thirty plus Ninety and add, add six. Uh, you'll add seven, so we'll have seven twenty here. So in the normal graph of eighty, how do you call it? Um, of of sine is like that. So when you divide ninety. 
because here there's a 2 we'll divide it by 2 what do we get okay we have 0 and 0 as our coordinate this is x packs to y you just write let me say x and y okay is 0 and 0 9 uh, here because we are using this equation we'll take the 2 here we'll divide each and every value here until uh, until we stop it where it will give us 180 so we divide here by 2 we have 45 45 because the amplitude here is 1 I mean here it's 1 so we'll write 1 here and then we go to 180 180 we divide it by 2 dividing 180 by 2 we will have 90 then where what is here the value of 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 y it's 0 then continuing 270 divided by 2 let's say it's 100 plus 35 okay it's 135 and then that means you divide this one by two from the original graph this is the original graph of sine which does not have any transformation now they have added two here so you we'll divide by you divide 360 by two and the word is here here it's negative one here because it's there negative one and then here 270 here is 270 and then now it's 360 we divide 360 by 2 here is 360 here at this point 360 divided by 2 is what you have to be 18 it's 18 so now you can see where is is zero there so now our graph will end here because of the interval given here so here we'll have a 180 then you write the x and then you y and then here it will be one and here at the bottom it will be one so here you'll have nine uh, because it's it's a 45 then here it's 0 it's 90 and here which is negative 1 is 135 and then here it's 180 so this is how we we'll write your graph uh, without using a calculator so as well as cos you can do the same thing cos you have to know the original graph of course so the original graph of course is started at 90 like this it's the original one you have to know the value here and the value here draw it like this divided by 2 and then put it as it is yeah, it's x fixed y 2i so if you like this video or you want more video like this you can subscribe to see more video like this and thank you for watching see you on the next video